then I guess we'll get ready to rock and roll here. All right. What's up, perishable people? What do you do? Now, What's up? Here with God Needs Unicorns. We're here with another round of bands and artists we like and support that aren't as good as God Needs Unicorns. It's not necessarily true, but that's the name of the show, and we're not going to change it. <laughs> and so with us today, we have Brandon and AJ from the band The Perishables. Howdy, howdy. How you guys doing? Good. How are you? Doing good. Doing good. I'm glad to be here. Excited. Happy. Happy. Yeah. I mean, we met, how many months ago was that? Because we had met whenever we had a show at Hard Rock. And well, it was the Hard Cock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hard Cock. <laughs> yeah <laughs> that was that was a long time ago and we've been trying to connect ever since we haven't made that happen but it's happening right now <laughs> yeah about five months right five six months damn already that's crazy yeah so you guys have been really blowing it up and i've been loving seeing your social media and everything you're posting and i'm excited to finally be, see you hopefully very soon live um you know tell us what, what's been going on oh well we're actually pretty tired because we we uh we played the bridge music bar last night we didn't really get to bed though about 2 a.m so oh my god i haven't been to the bridge yet and it's brand new how was it it's really nice beautiful like their audio is like their such sound guy is like on point. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's awesome. Who did you play with? Played with uh 13 Occult and Gorgatron. That's right. That's right. I saw the ads for that. That looks really that looked really cool. Um that's awesome. And uh thank you so much for staying up late. That's a very late what is that? A very late Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, I could get up at five in the morning. <laughs> that was a tough time. I didn't. Oh, he didn't. <laughs> he didn't. <laughs> I have had shows where I have ended up like borderline. Maybe they didn't want me to come back to work because I just like slept through it. <laughs> that was in my twenties. In my thirties, I show up and I'm there and I'm present, but I'm also like borderline not a human being. I'm just like. You know, put on your happy face and just go for it. Like, it was great. <laughs> a great Wednesday, everybody. <laughs> I'm not a zombie, I promise. No, I'm a real live person who's here to do the work, and it's going to be wonderful. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's always rough, man. I don't know how old you guys are, but, uh, you know, I'm going to be 38 in March, and I'm like, oh, oops. I just, I just turned 32 November 5th. So birthday. Oh my god, it was your birthday. Happy birthday. That's right. I think I said that. Hopefully. I show for it. Yeah, so. we played <laughs> we played at Brandy's basement on my birthday. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. I saw pictures from that too. That one looked really rad. Yeah, there was a lot of people at that show. Yeah, that's awesome. I know that, that place like that place does pretty good. It has some pretty good acts. So that's nice. Excellent. So you've been blowing it up. Tell us like about your music. Like it's definitely rock music, but it kind of has like its own kind of sound. You know what I mean? Like I'm like, it's like I like your voice especially too. It's like very unique. Um tell me what what does the perishable sound like? Uh well, I guess I guess we all have our own idea about it. I yeah. I, I, I mean I like to call it. I think we're like a mix of punk rock, metal, and grunge, but like, you know, we also could go into like folky stuff or even heavier stuff. I mean, what do you think? I think we're just whatever we come up with in the garage that day. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> and, you know, hopefully it turns out to be something somebody else likes, but yeah, we're just kind of out here having fun, entertaining each other more, more or less, you know, and just trying to get better at what we do each time. I think that's awesome. I also think it's great to like not like pigeonhole yourself into one like this is what we know. These are the songs we make. Yeah. Uh, you know, kind of go with the flow and, and do whatever feels good. Like there's no rules. You can do literally whatever you want within the do it. definitely do whatever feels good. Do whatever yeah. feels good. Exactly. 
And that's kind of like, you know, what we like to do too, is we just want to, you know, whatever, whatever mood you're in, whatever thing you're inspired by at the moment, that's what you got to do. And I think that that'll be your best work. And so far. Yeah, we really like your, uh, I really like your song, uh, Manners. I really like that song. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, and uh, can't think of the other one. Yeah, I just listened yeah. to it. Like, the fucking man, the fucking man. <laughs> on Vigil. Yeah. That's the newest one. Yeah, thank you so much. That was Not, not Your Day is pretty good, too. I think it's like dark, like a darker type song. It like really brings you in like the story, I think. I like that. Oh my Thank God. you so much. This is like, this is why I love this podcast because it's like, it's about you. And then it's like, it's 55 episodes about us. <laughs> <laughs> You're kind of like the reason we're doing it. So, yeah, right. <laughs> um, what's next? I know you recently had a music video. What are you working on now? Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Uh stop motion music video. It's just taking a lot of time and a lot of effort. And why'd you sign us up for this? <laughs> you agreed. I did, but come on. Is man. it like Clay Nation? <laughs> yeah. Well, tell me more about this stop motion. Stop stop motion. Stop motion is the words. <laughs> so like we just got done with our makeshift disaster video. Now we're doing a video for droid. Nice. Our newest single and uh it we got like little lego custom dudes made and we we're, we have like a little like drum set like lego drum set lego guitar and we're playing and doing backflips and we have like a robot and like a whole like lego town we built and we're all like moving around and it's like it's insane and we have to take like 90 photos for like three seconds of footage you guys are doing that yourselves yes <laughs> you're absolutely out of your mind <laughs> Yes, <laughs> I know, but I mean, I guess uh, I mean starting up, you know, starting up, starting. Really you know, I mean, yeah. it's also like uh, time consuming and grueling, and like, oh, dude, we screwed up halfway through. We have to trash all the stuff we just did. I can't imagine. I've done such like a little snippet, and it's usually like if I do a stop motion thing, it's like it's two seconds, and I'm like, why? That was a lot. We're done here. <laughs> like, I hate Jess. I hate Jess. I made a little stop motion clay of Joshua before, but I really like, that's it. It's just like, you're going to say one thing or do one thing. And then I'm done here because it takes so much time. It's mm -hmm. unbelievable. So God love you guys. That's like a very impressive feat. And I'm sure it is fun, but. Oh yeah. We have a lot of fun doing this kind of stuff. So, you know, it might be irritating sometimes, but most of the time we're having a blast. So yeah. It be like okay cool we did something exactly and it sounds like you guys are all really creative sure <laughs> <laughs> it's gotta be <laughs> you've been doing too it, is, it looks like you the thing i like about you guys other than your music and i love your newest single with Roy, that one rock um, I, I like the creativity that you guys have, like you're always putting out like something that's fun. It's not like, you know, being this like, here's our show, here's a picture from our show, here's our show, look at this picture. It's like you have memes and little videos and like really fun creative stuff that's like very ca captivating. I like perishable people. I think that's a great, a great little hook. Like I'm a perishable person. I want to be one of this. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah it's fun we have ice cream and stuff so do you <laughs> i want some <laughs> <laughs> after the show uh, oh you can have some now i don't want to say anything if you're allowed i don't want to get you in trouble um <laughs> i did i almost like it's really hard for me to be at home and do anything because like i forget how you have to act when you're like on a video call talking to somebody because even like with work it's like you've been at home so much. I don't know if you guys have, but I've been at home so much since the pandemic and I've had so many video calls that see you later, Jeff. Oh, and that I, I just don't like, I forget like how to be a person and I'll just sit here with like a thing of pretzels and like I'll put them in my mouth while I'm speaking. And it's like, you can't do that. You have to like, if you're talking, you have to like not have stuff in your mouth and you have to be 
like a, a person that's present and involved in the thing that's happening. <laughs> <It's> just <laughs> spend your whole life on Zoom with a mouthful of pretzels. But you can have ice cream. You're allowed to on this show. <laughs> um, Sweet. I'm so excited to see that video. Do you have any sort of projection of when you might be done? I'm assuming not. <laughs> well, we're going to release a, a teaser lyric video with some footage from the music video. And I don't really know when that's going to be released. It might be three weeks. That's pretty ready. I'd probably less than that. But yeah, the actual music video, at least three weeks. <laughs> okay, nice. So this is like on the horizon. This is something we're going to see. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's going to happen. <laughs> December 12th. November 12th. No, November 12th. Oh, December, December 12th. December 12th. We like to give people specific dates where they release things. And then if you do that, then we're very happy because you did the thing we said. <laughs> December 12th. <laughs> well, that's pretty soon. <laughs> it's like three not days. several weeks. <laughs> oh, December? I thought you said November. I'm sorry. No, yo, there's no way. Uh, I wouldn't allow Joshua to say such a thing. We're reasonable. Reasonable people. So you guys think about that. And, and message us beforehand. Like, we want to... We want to see this. We want to do a reaction video. We want to share this because this is like, it's like unprecedented. I'm very impressed. I'm thinking before December 12th, but we'll definitely let you guys know. Okay. When, and we'll let everyone know. We'll, we'll, yeah. Well, I was going to say, you should let them. Oh, no. <laughs> awesome. So what, I mean, what's next? Like, we want to talk about shows. I'm like, well, like, what have you guys like been up to otherwise? What's going on? No, just There's a lot of stop motion. <laughs> yeah, that's really, honestly, like stop motion and uh, shows. Four hours during a practice and you're just like, okay, my butt hurts. I just want to sit down <laughs> and something comfy. Oh my gosh, you aren't even given like a chair that is decent. I didn't set us up in the best spot and then we just kind of rolled with it and that's where we are right now. So <laughs> We're going to have to like send you like a care package with like little bum pillows. Just like, <laughs> or like the hemorrhoid ones. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We need something for sure. Why do we not have God hates uniforms hemorrhoid buttons? Because we, we don't have hemorrhoids. Yeah, we don't need them. We don't have to use our own merch. I'm thinking about our audience. That's like kind of our fan base. And speak and have, up on that, by the way. And they have hemorrhoids? There's nothing wrong with having hemorrhoids. No, no, but our fan base has hemorrhoids. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> and one can imagine. Statistically, you're bound to find one. Absolutely. <laughs> And on, high and mighty, I think everybody has. I don't know. Maybe I'm just doubting myself right now. But yeah, you know, it just happens. Come on. <laughs> yes, never know. You never know. Hey, don't look at me. <laughs> Stuff just happens. <laughs> so, uh, the makeshift disaster music video. Who shot that? That was us. That was us. <laughs> that was us. There you yeah. go. Yep. He needs to stop letting us do everything. <laughs> Got to outsource, man. No, it was, a great, it was a great video, though. I, I enjoyed it. Great song. Thank you. Thanks for watching it and taking the time to actually, you know, watch it and everything and enjoy it. And I appreciate it because we put a lot of work into that. Yeah, it was like another five week endeavor that, you know, so many parts of the practice were dedicated to. All right, we got to leave now and film some stuff, come back, and then we'll, you know, do our practice. You know, run an hour set or something like that, and all the trying to balance all that and do shows too it was like you're good at least it's done you know yeah. it's good to have something complete out of it mm. i actually lit a like a military grade smoke bomb underneath my vehicle for the smoke part when we're lifting the hood yeah that's like real smoke <laughs> we put a smoke bomb under my vehicle that was a big one too it, it went off for like 20 minutes i was like we're getting arrested <laughs> yeah your neighbor was like hey is everything good down there like, oh, well, we're fine we're just shooting a music yeah, video playing around man like what <laughs> you sure you're okay yeah it's fine for like a three second clip <laughs> i feel like they make props i feel like the prop would be cheaper and easier to obtain <laughs> you'd be surprised how cheap military smoke bombs are <laughs> 
would. I would be surprised, apparently. Something I don't think about too often. And that's hilarious. I'm glad you didn't get arrested. Although that also would have been hilarious if you did. <laughs> yeah. Or that yeah, we could have video you did footage of me being in handcuffs and put me in a cop car. That'd have been funny. Yeah, they were you ordered them to your house. That's all you. I could walk away. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Yeah. No, now it's just me. I'll sure I'll play drums. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yes, when when's your next show? I know you've been crazy busy with shows too. Well, I'm doing a solo acoustic set at the Forge Urban Winery this Saturday. Uh, okay, so yesterday because it's Sunday. So you just did it. No, I'm doing it this Saturday. Okay, but this is this comes out on Sunday. next Saturday. I mean, is that next what? Saturday? Yeah, yeah. this, this yeah. Saturday. <laughs> coming Saturday. It's this Saturday. This Saturday this coming Saturday. up. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Um, and I, the forge is that where we went that one time, Joshua? You know, yes. that that place is great. That place is really cool, and that's another brand new place too. Bottle blue dust. It is by the Blue Dust. There's a bar called the Blue Dust we really like down there. Homestead. Uh, yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, I live right by there. I live in uh, West Mifflin, so it's very easy for me to get to. Yeah. Um, um, so cool. Tell me about that. Yeah, I'm um, playing a, a half hour acoustic set there. They're having a, an event called the Music of Pittsburgh, uh, Music of Pittsburgh Convention. What happened was I made this Music of Pittsburgh playlist and then these other musicians decided to make an event out of it. <laughs> the playlist and they made the event out. Yeah, so that's awesome. Yeah, it is pretty sweet. I I think it's cool. And then uh, December eleventh, we're playing. Me and him are playing at uh, the Green Beacon Gallery. Oh, I love that place. With uh, we're playing with like we're like the lightest band on the bill. So we're we're playing with Bloody Run, Decident from Bethlehem, PA, uh, Nine Stitch Method. Yeah. And there's one more. I can't Place remember. Blame. Place Blame. Yeah. They're heavy. Where are the other guys? And that's going to be great. Have you guys played Green Beacon before? No. Not at all. Oh, you're going to love it. It's it's like kind of a drive. <laughs> that's the, literally the only somewhat negative about it. It's such a cool venue. Such a cool spot. They have like amazing artwork. They're so much fun to play. It's just, it's it's a blast. You're gonna have an absolute blast there. Oh, yeah, works uh, Greensburg, right? Greensburg. Yeah, our friend Phil from Fakia Dinosaurs runs that. And he does. It's just a fantastic job, and you're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. I guess. There's, there's some awesome art hanging on the walls too. They're awesome. Yeah, I have a couple pieces up there. Thank you. <laughs> All the eyes, right? Yes. Yeah, that's sick. See, I pay attention. You pay attention. You pay attention to like what I'm doing more than I do. I'm just kind of floating through life like one of those little like floaties from a dandelion. Like it's just whatever happens here. <laughs> I pay attention to everything I, I don't need to pay attention to. And then everything I need to pay attention to, I'm like, oh, I was supposed to do that three days ago. Whoops. <laughs> I understand that completely. I have a sewage bill downstairs that I'm like, I should open this. Oh God! <laughs> I know I've been, I've been there. <laughs> Those are the worst bills, in my opinion, because it's like, what am I doing that's costing so much money in the sewer? Like, I'm not playing around down there. I'm literally just up here living my life. Like, what am I paying for? I don't. I genuinely don't understand. So I really hate paying it. <laughs> So it's massive shit you take. <laughs> <laughs> From all my hemorrhoids, it's like holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> nice bloody ones, yeah. Speaking of bloody run. Uh <laughs> <laughs> my This thing is coming from under my house. Oh man, I'm sorry. That's like not bloody run. That's not what we associate you with, but it is kind of <laughs> Sorry, Kyle. <laughs> He's gonna hate me. 
uh what are we doing next after that we're playing uh december 21st right i believe yeah club cafe we're playing with shit dicks <laughs> i like that Engloff, which i know it's not Engloff. it's egg laugh it, egg laugh it's egg laugh it's yeah, egg but, you sure I am sure because we talked to them and we said their name on this podcast over and over again to make sure I got it right. And then I had to draw myself a picture of an egg and then laughing so I could look at it and be like, this is their band name. Egg laugh. Egg laugh. I'm going to say it wrong every time. Uh, yeah. yeah. Do what she did. Just egg Gandalf. Because <laughs> they were playing at Hard Work Cafe too, remember? They yeah, they played with you guys. And I said it wrong on the microphone twice. And I never ended up saying it right. And it took me like many months. <laughs> I thought it was wild that that was their first show ever. And I'm like, your first show's at the Hard Rock Cafe. That's so crazy. Oh, it's like, shut up, guys. All right. Yeah. Okay. I'm like, man, bands like, like, you know, play all the time and never get to play there, you know? <laughs> an interesting venue i think because like it's like yeah we're at the hard rock cafe and it's like and there's you know aunt sally eating her chicken farm right there <laughs> there she and is there's death metal <laughs> Which i thought was awesome i was like this is sweet everyone's like eating their dinner and then there's just well, and egg, egg laugh oh. egg laugh is up there screaming it up yeah they did it uh they that's the we talked to them about that because they apparently had just been playing and playing and playing and playing like the whole pandemic. So like by the time they were like done, they were like ready because they were so practiced. But um, it is fun. And I like that generally when you're there, like the people don't leave, like they don't stop eating. They're going to finish their meal and whatever you're doing, they're going to watch. So <laughs> and, we, and we usually bribe the waitresses not to give them the bill for another hour. Right. <laughs> like, <laughs> man. Oh, yeah, I'll be right back, sir. And then they just leave. <laughs> that was such a fun show because I like never seen a band give out like unicorn like things. It, it, you like gave everyone props and you guys were like wrestling in the middle of the floor while people are eating their chicken parm. I'm like, this is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so much fun. I love I love the horns. That was Joshua's idea. Just like make everybody wear a horn. They don't necessarily, they're not necessarily here for you. They are probably not like <laughs> necessarily like, oh, I can't wait to see them. They're a God Hates Unicorns fan now. They got a horn. Yeah. The it's brilliant. a transition. Yeah, it's just like now this whole audience is. Whether you like it or not, actually you do have a choice. If you don't want to take one, you don't have to. But we just don't. Well, you it. have to take one. You have to take one. <laughs> it's the way to be. <laughs> we all take one. And we'll just like super glue it to your head. There you go. Now, how do you like that? No, we're not going to assault anyone. Mm. We're talk about rock. <laughs> um. Yeah, we're playing with Inglaf. Uh, shit, dick. It's not. That's not right again. <laughs> Inglaf. Inglaf. It's an egg. Inglaf. Come on, you, you got to get this right. Come on. Man. Oh man, what a hard band name. It's only five letters. But it's the hardest name. They picked their own, like, what name will everybody be really confused about? And they probably had, like, a... Pronounce it, like, seven different ways. Yeah. (laughs) Say Huh? I think it's just, like, I think it means hemorrhoid in, like, uh... (laughs) I think it does. It means hemorrhoid in, like, Dutch. (laughs) Dutch for hemorrhoid. Boy, all these other bands we're not interviewing, we're saying some weird stuff about you, and I'm sorry. Every band's going to hate us now, but it's fine. Collateral damage. <laughs> so you burn. All right, cool. <laughs> Jeez. And who else is on the bill? This, uh, I think I saw that flyer, too. I see stuff. I know. Uh, Subarctic Beach Party. Yes. And... Hmm. Who is the art? Oh, us. Yeah. Yeah. And okay. Perishables, Subarctic Beach Party, Egg Laugh, it, uh... and Chit Dicks. Chit Dicks. Yeah. Chit Dicks, I need to find out more about. I feel like I don't have to, uh, we don't have to do anything to their band name. So if no. they're, they've, already, they've done it, they've done, done it themselves. That sounds really fun. 
So that'll be great. Um, that'll be a fun one. That's, I guess, closing out the year, I'm assuming. The year's like done after that. Yeah, we, we have one book for January. It's in a it's at the acoustic brunch at the bridge music bar. I, we haven't decided if we're going to just play metal at the acoustic brunch or actually play an acoustic set. I think acoustic should probably be the way to go at the acoustic brunch. I do honestly. too, but you know, it'd be kind of funny to just go in there and just start like funny. 11 a.m. Funny. Yes. <laughs> but will it go over well? Probably not. <laughs> please, please don't come back, please. All right. <laughs> I kind of, I, I like that idea though. It's just like, here's the acoustic brunch. And then it's just like, <laughs> like to get into it i don't know i'm excited though now i really want to go to that one like what what will they choose um, hey, uh, don't use a microphone to scream when you're fine yeah you're right it's acoustic <laughs> it's an acoustic voice it's not electronic cool yeah no we're good i think we're set up here nice <laughs> oh my god you guys are so fun um, we're probably going to start booking for like spring. We're taking a little bit of time off to, to do some stuff, but I definitely want to get a show together. It would yeah. be really super fun if we did. I'm, I'd be super excited for that. Hell that would yeah. be sweet. Yeah, that would be so much fun. So audience, get ready for 2023, this show with us. March 22nd. March 22nd. March 22nd. All right. <laughs> we're doing March 22nd. A show. That's almost my birthday, so that'll be my official birthday. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Oh my god, awesome. So what else do you want to like? What do you want to tell everybody? What do you what do you want to tell people who are trying to do what you're doing, trying to get out there playing music? I know it's not always really easy. And it's certainly not easy when you're doing it with Legos. Well, I guess if you you can't get a full band together just be a two-piece like us just do it period yeah yeah if you can't find a singer be the singer if you can't find a guitar player be the guitar player you know find a way yeah no i mean it'll work try you know, it was just me in the beginning and then and then it was ej we had a third guy it didn't work out so it's back to us two guys then we had another third guy just for like three days then it's two again <laughs> so it just just keep doing it you know just keep trucking along do whatever you got to do listen to people because you might think you know everything and you find out the hard way that you really don't know as much as you think you do. <laughs> very personal statement he's <laughs> getting a lot better i'll tell you that yeah he's, he's learning a lot oh it's hard though it really is hard but yeah i think that that's absolutely excellent advice you just, just gotta keep doing it because if you're gonna wait for things to be perfect and exactly what you're looking for you're gonna wait your whole life yeah it's, you can't chase you know you can't have you can't you have to set yourself for like small goals like every goal just get a little bit bigger and bigger and bigger you can't okay i released a single i'm gonna be famous like that ain't gonna right don't work like that you're just gonna be heartbroken and depressed and you're gonna want to quit music and yeah we've all been there <laughs> also sounds personal yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so but yeah you know just keep doing it that's all you gotta just keep doing yeah you'll get somewhere and then maybe that perfect thing you were looking for will like finally line up because you have all that practice under your belt you know? exactly exactly you gotta be ready for it when it happens and, you know, another thing I remember, look at me remembering things, there was this guy, a worst case scenario, because, you know, a lot of us are just kind of doing this and we're having fun. And, and this is what, what it is. Like, we just grow in this, do as much as we can. And, and that's the thing. And uh, there was some man that was like picking you up or something at Hard Rock Cafe. And I remember he was talking about like, oh my gosh, this is like a hobby and you can like kind of like recuperate your losses like you're making money to like um you know pay for some of the stuff whatever you're doing shows and you're selling your merch and you're doing stuff so you're actually making money to put back into what you're doing and, and I think he was saying is this sounding familiar we were all drunk but and he was saying like you know like oh I like motorcycles or something or both and he's like and, and that's just all I do is spend a lot of money and then then I have the thing but it's really cool to have like it's like your own self-sustaining like fun thing you're doing so like at the very least it's like 
you have the coolest thing you're into in the world and it's paying for itself. The fun stuff we like to do is ends up not being like the out of pocket expense, like a motorcycle man. I might have made this all up, but I do remember it. So it was somewhere in my mind. But you know, and that's like as a worst case, but I, I love this city and there's so many opportunities. And no matter what happens, there's so much room to grow and do more stuff. And it's so much, it's just so much fun. And if you're not having fun, you're doing it wrong. True. Yeah, you can't be a stick in the mud about it. You gotta have fun. You're not always gonna have a show where like 80 people come or you're not right. you're gonna play shows for free sometimes it's gonna suck mm-hmm. sometimes you're gonna make money and sometimes you're gonna sell merch and sometimes you're gonna have fans saying oh you're awesome and sometimes somebody might throw a tomato at you <laughs> so you yeah. know well, they better not you're i not mean i've never had that happen but that's like metaphorically speaking yeah. I mean, <laughs> yes it could happen but it's never happened to us yet that's good. Bring, bring tomatoes on the 11th no Bring all perishable items and throw them at us. Praise a salads all day, baby. That's all I'm hearing. <laughs> what if that's your thing? What if like the perishables, like that's what people do. Like the perishable people bring perishable goods and throw it. But like as a, this is what we do because we rock and we're like going nuts. Or we could put it in a box and give it to homeless people. That's not perishables. <laughs> then you have to be non-perishables. You're right. You're right. Because they would have to last longer. Oh, you have to transport it to them. <laughs> We're the perishables. We collect non-perishables. Please give us. <laughs> We're having a food run. <laughs> I actually saw a show. There was a band actually uh, collecting perishable items. They had a chari- charity event, event, non-perishable items. Yeah. Uh, sommelier was doing that, weren't they? Is that how you say it? I always called them sommelier. <laughs> Yeah, it's Somalia, and I, again, it's another hard one, like, come on, making it hard on us, but, um, yeah, I know that they do a lot of stuff like that, and they're really rad, we like those guys, oh, cool, all right, well, thank you so much, we finally got to connect, and everybody, you want to be a perishable person, Bring your non-perishables. Check out the perishables. Links are below. Um, they got a bunch of cool shows coming up. I'm most excited for this video. So we're definitely going to be sharing that from our page as well whenever this comes out. Because I'm so impressed. So um, check them out. Give them a listen. Give them a follow. And we can't wait to see you guys out and about here. Thanks. Appreciate being on your uh, podcast. And uh, I really appreciate it. Yeah. Oh my God, absolutely. Thank you for coming on. Thank you for coming on. And you guys take care. Good luck. You too. You too. Bye. <laughs> Bye.